Welcome to this tutorial series for Action Game System for Unity 3D. This is the first part and we will be looking at one of the core components of AGS and that is the action property. The action property is basically a property that uh, uses system event handler and has an on sh value changed event you can subscribe to. So here we are in the Unity editor and uh, I have a scene set up here. Uh, we're looking at the Ethan model. Um, for this, uh, this tutorial we will not need him at all. Uh, it's just a setup for later uh, tutorials. So um, instead we will start by creating two scripts here. We will need one data model and one one of behavior uh, in which we will be subscribing to an action property. So here we create a new C sharp script which we will call um, action prop example model and also we will create an, a new C sharp script which we will call action action prop example view. So uh, there we go. Let's open this up in, in Visual Studio Code. If I can get it to open, there we go. Uh, so. This is a data model, so we will not be needing the mono behavior. So we can delete, delete all this stuff here. Um, although we will be using system, and also actually we will be using uh, system timers also. Normally you wouldn't use system timers in a real Unity project. But for this uh, simple example, it's okay and it's also fun. So let's do that. Using, we will also be using the AGS dot core dot classes dot action properties. So uh, we start by declaring a new action property. So um, public action property which is a generic type, so we can do, create an action property of any type, but in this example we'll do it with a simple int. So my subscribable int, and uh, we need get and private set for this. Um, we will also be needing a static timer. So private static timer like that. And now we're ready to write the constructor public action prop sample model. And here we create new instances of the my subscribable int and the timer. that and, and the timer equals to a new timer and we'll be using this timer for the interval um, uh, so in the view we will be describing to the my subscribable int and each interval it will be um, increasing so um, let's do a time interval of a thousand milliseconds and the timer also has some kind of, yeah, um, the timer auto reset needs to be set to true so that the interval will continue indefinitely. And uh, then we will need to set the elapsed event. Uh, here I think we get the sender and also event arguments here. 
We don't need them, but we need them for defining the anonymous method. So each each uh, e each interval, this anonymous function will be called, and uh, here we will simply do my subscribable int dot value plus plus, and that's it. Or no. Um, let's also create a function which in which we can start or stop the timer. So public void, let's call this simple enable, with a boolean parameter that defines if it, the timer should be enabled or not. So, um, and simply timer dot, I think it's called enable, yeah. Um, and that's it for the for the model. So we're ready to go to the view. And this is a mono behavior. Uh, and um, we won't be using the start function. Instead, we'll, we will do the awake function. And yet, let me just delete this. Uh, here we create uh, a public action. What did we call it? Action prop example mob. Yeah. My instance example module or something like that. Get private set. And um, in the awake function, we will create a new instance. My instance example model equals to a new action prop example model. And now, when we have the instance, we can subscribe to its uh, my subscribable int, which should have an on value change domain. There we go. Um, this also get uh, the sender and uh, argument and also the, um, the int value as an argument. So we're almost there already. Um, here we can do a simple debug.log uh, with the with a int int value and that's an argument so we need to define the value of it. And there we go. Oh yes, um, also the start and stop function. So uh, on enable mono behavior function, uh, my instance example model dot enable with true. And uh, we, we can cope with this function here and do a disable on on disable sorry on disable we call this function with false and that should be all let's try it in the editor and we hope for no errors great and now we also need to create a new game object in this in the scene view uh, or, or rather in the hierarchy uh, we called it uh, my action prop example and we had example prop action prop example view yeah and uh, yeah let's disable this, this from the start and we hit play and nothing is happening but once we enable this we see that the bug log starts to write uh, an increased int value each interval and we can disable it and that's it for this tutorial <laughs>